Hi there, this is a super quick demo of a little Python script I wrote called Shuffle from Viewer. I wrote this because uh, when I'm working with a CG render or a nuke script, loads of AOVs or layers, I was getting sick of having to manually create a shuffle node to match the um, layer that I was currently viewing in the viewer to uh, allow me to work with the layer that I want to work with. So let me just quickly show you my workflow and then I can show you how this script uh, will speed that up slightly. So I have here a render, a render of this car with a bunch of AOVs. Uh, it's not a particularly great render, I just did it with the scanline render in Nuke, so uh, it's not really useful, but you can see here that we've got some of the AOVs. Uh, now, normally if I have a CG render with a bunch of AOVs in, especially if there are multiple lights, multiple mats, um, and a bunch of maybe a new renderer with AOVs. I don't know necessarily what they are. Uh, I want to find the AOVs that I want to work with. The easiest way of doing that is using the page up and page down um, keys on the keyboard whilst you're uh, in the viewer. So if I page down um, with my cursor over the viewer, you can see that the viewer cycles through all the layers that are available to it. So this is a super quick way of finding um, the layer that you want to work with. It's much quicker than going up here every time you want to change something. So I found the layer that I want to work with. Let's imagine I want, need to use the specular layer. Now in my old workflow I would now go over to the node graph, I'd create a shuffle node, and then I'd go and find the specular layer here, which is a bunch of clicks that uh, I thought could be sped up. Um, it's even slow and there's tons and tons of AOVs. So I wrote a little script to speed that up. So I've got the specular visible in the viewer here. And then go to my utilities menu and I've got this little script shuffle from viewer. In one click that creates a shuffle node, it sets the in in one on the shuffle node to the layer that I'm viewing in the viewer. And it even adds a little label value in here into the shuffle node so you can see what you are viewing. Um, I made a little keyboard shortcut, a convoluted keyboard shortcut, trying to come up with a keyboard shortcut that's useful and isn't used by something else was a bit of a pain. But uh, I ended up with uh, Alt or Option, Shift, Command or Control and S. So if I do that keyboard shortcut with my cursor over the viewer, it creates a shuffle node. Um, so hopefully that will speed up my workflow uh, quite a bit. I then um, decided that I might want to do the same thing with a shuffle node that already exists. So I've got a couple of shuffle nodes here. They're both set to RGBA. Let's set one to PREF, for example. So shuffle three is PREF, shuffle two is RGBA. I can select these and I can do command option shift S and it will force all of them to now be set to specular. I decided not to add a label to nodes that already exist in case some in case you've already set labels up yourself and you didn't want to break something that already existed. So if the node already exists, it the script won't change the label um, in there, but it will set the input to match whatever's in the viewer. And then for completeness, I decided to uh, work the other way as well. So let's go to RGBA here. You can see my shuffle node is shuffling the PREF pass into the IGBA, uh, I decided we should be able to work in the other direction. So if I do Command, Option, Shift, and V, it forces the viewer to match whatever the shuffle node is doing. So uh, we can go back the other way if you want to. Uh, hopefully this little script uh, is useful. Uh, I think it'll help me out. Hopefully it'll help someone else out. Um, it's not very complicated, but it was a good little exercise in learning Python, which is something I've been doing for the last few months. So um, hopefully you find it useful. I uh, will include links to this script on Wikipedia or my GitHub page in the links below. And there'll be some instructions on how to install it down there too. Um, I have written this script so that hopefully it works in Nuke 11 and Nuke 12. I've only got Nuke 12 at home, but this will hopefully work with the old original shuffles that are in Nuke 11 and previous and the Shuffle 2 that is being introduced in Nuke 12. Um, so hopefully it works both ways. Let me know if there are any issues or if you think it's useful or if you can think of something else this script should be doing. Um, let me know in the comments below. Thanks.